Thank you, Driscoll Health Plan, for inviting me. I am Patricia G. Reyes, and I am the author of Teach Him to See Hearts. The cover of my book has hearts created by thumbprints of all of my students at Driscoll ISD School District. And all of my students are from uh, pre-kinder through second grade. I wrote this book after my husband passed away. He was always looking for hearts to give to me. After he passed away, one of my students in kindergarten asked, why do you look for hearts, Miss Reyes? I told my students the story of my husband and added to them that my sweetheart was now in heaven. He immediately replied, so now you have to look for hearts, right, Miss Reyes? I do, Joaquin, I have to look for hearts now. His eyes lit up and he asked, can I help you look for hearts, Miss Reyes? And I said, yes. I feel a little hand tug at mine and I turn around and I find one of my students. It's one of my little pre-kindergarten students named Alina. She dropped a tiny, tiny little gravel heart rock in my hand. She had heard that Ms. Reyes likes hearts. This was 2014. All of my students, friends and family have now began to search for hearts everywhere. Bo's story is the story that not all hearts are the same but there's still a heart. Bo taught me to look deeper, that not all hearts are visible, that not all hearts are perfect. They come in all shapes and sizes, and sometimes you have to see them through the eyes of a child. And that's what Bo helped me do. Bo calls me frantically, Miss Reyes, Miss Reyes, come and take a picture of the heart, as he found it on the way to the gym. I try to see the heart, but I can't. He squats all the way down and carefully points it out. Even though I still can't see the heart, I take a picture where he is pointing. As I look at my camera, it becomes visible. There it was, a perfectly imperfect heart. Somebody had actually stepped on a piece of gum that day and created the heart that Bo found. Hearts are found everywhere. Towards the end of the school year, one of my coworkers found out that I love to collect hearts. And here it is. It was her dog, Boomer, with a perfect shaped heart on his tummy. And again, hearts are found everywhere. They're found in the wings of a butterfly. They're found on a horse. When you spill water, sometimes by accident, a beautiful mess ends up creating a beautiful heart. Daylin is one of my students. She was playing in the playground and she runs over and, and comes yelling to me that she had found a heart. She sets it right in the middle of her chest where her heart beats. It's beautiful to see the kids, the, their expressions, the smile on their faces when they find hearts. Emily's Cheeto Puff Heart. I actually like Cheetos, but not the, the, the spicy Cheetos. But when I ate, uh, she decided to offer me a bag of Cheetos. I grab a handful of Cheetos and out I pull a perfectly shaped red spicy Cheeto puff heart. I actually ate it and I enjoyed it. Nico's many hearts. Nico is my dog. He is half weenie dog and half beagle. Nico was born during Hurricane Harvey in a chicken coop. And Nico has many, many hearts. Yes, Nico's butt heart, when he lays just the right way, is so stinking cute. There it is, the morning of Christmas pictures, and we see a beautiful heart shape between his lower legs in the most unpredictable spot. We also have to add Nico's Valentine's disaster. He created a foam-shaped heart. He had destroyed my couch. It was February 14, 2018. I began to sweep all of the mess that he had made. And in all of those uh, pieces of foam, there it was, a foam heart appears. Nico's many, many hearts. The Sacred Heart Rose. 
It's a rose bush that was planted on Mother's Day. The name of the flower is called the Sacred Heart. And as it bloomed, it actually bloomed a beautiful heart-shaped rose, a testimony of pure love. You find her hearts everywhere, even after Hurricane Harvey, as they were cleaning up all of the mess. They were trimming trees. They discovered one of the limbs as it was trimmed had created a beautiful, perfect heart shape, a message of hope and faith. And the most important of all is love. So hearts are found everywhere. Elijah is one of my students and he finds a chicken nugget heart at Wendy's while he's eating there. My little corazón holds onto hearts and love forever. Teach them to see hearts, Elijah, now and forever. Kinder clean up heart. My littlest heart hunters spilled water all over the bathroom floor. They were frantic to clean it up. And as they grabbed paper towels and began wiping, a heart shape appeared. The apple heart. Adriana takes a bite of her apple during breakfast one morning at school and comes running to me. Miss Reyes, it's a beautiful heart. Can you believe it? Yes, I can, Adriana. The mud heart. It had rained heavily, and we were now in the after-school care program. The kids were staying. We reminded the kids to, very, to be very careful not to get dirty with all that mud. A group of students ran in my direction, yelling, Miss Reyes, we didn't get dirty but we found a mud heart. They were so excited. Heart of Mount Everest. This story is close to my heart. It was my son who brought me this heart while he went to Nepal to climb the highest, tallest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. It was easy to look for hearts on the ground after trekking for eight hours continuously. My face was numb from the Arctic air. My chest was tightening by the minute. My legs felt like a thousand pounds each. I was completely exhausted. I stared at the ground, watching my feet move incredibly slow. I couldn't move much before pausing to catch my breath. I was two hours from Everest base camp. The goal was so close, but I could not see it. As I leaned over, hands on my knees, Wheezing, my beard became an icicle, and my hand I could no longer feel. As I look down, I find a heart-shaped rock, a piece of Mount Everest made of granite. I brought it to my mother. Teach them to see hearts. Inspire the future to see hearts because what is given from the heart will never be forgotten. Teaching our children to look for the love instead of noticing all the negativity is paramount in their development into a peaceful and loving population. It starts with our children. Look for it. It's there. The love is out there. Go find it. I know the world has changed, but love never will. It will grow stronger. Thank you.